course, new rules won't affect those already in Canada illegally. There are many undocumented and living precariously. But this wild story might astonish even them. An unidentified man, uncharged, languishing in a Canadian prison, and just possibly another country's national treasure. Adrian Arsenal explains. Within the walls of a detention centre in Lindsay, Ontario, a mystery man. Apparently a South African, Victor Vinadu, he calls himself, now proven to be a fake name. Held for nearly 11 years just on an immigration offence, not having papers. Documents from detention hearings show he won't discuss his past and he's terrified of being sent to South Africa. But why? In light of the mental health issues one transcript reads, his lack of cooperation may not be a deliberate effort to frustrate. So who is he really? He won't speak with us and neither will Canada Border Services officials, but the agency did try to find out, connected with police forces globally. And a few years ago, assigned an investigator who met Victor Vinatu and got a hunch that he might actually be a long-lost South African hero, a man named Mumbuisa Makubu, a man who's been missing for decades. It goes back to June 1976. Black students in Soweto had had enough of the brutality of apartheid and rose up. A boy named Hector Peterson is shot by police. 18-year-old Mbwisa Makubu carries the dying child to get help. With this photo, a symbol was born. There's now a Mbwisa Makubu school and a much revered monument to that moment so many think shifted tides. He's our hero. That picture to us uh, means liberation. That picture to us means the embracing of our freedom. Only Makubu, as his family tell it, didn't feel like a hero then. With that picture seen globally, he had embarrassed South Africa's white police, and they hunted him. And the police used to come in the house saying if they found him, they will kill him. Makubu fled South Africa. Once his family got a letter, then nothing. And that's where Victor Vinatu's story picks up. 1988, he shows up in Toronto. There's a failed refugee bid, but he stays, eventually gets arrested, detained, and the saga starts. When the CBSA investigator finally met him, something happened in the conversation to make the officer call Makubu's family. He sent them pictures, and they started to wonder if the man in Canada could be their hero. Look at the, the, the forehead. And the, uh, and the ears. Makubu's cousin is convinced it's him, sees a resemblance, has heard stories of matching birthmarks, and so wants him home. It's been a long time we've missed you. And even a mother died looking for you. So bring him back, only it's not so simple. Victor Vinatu may not be Mumboisa Makubu. There's never been proof, and some insist it's not the same person. Still, whoever the mystery man is, that he's been held for so long for just immigration offenses with no end in sight is a whole separate problem. He should be let go. All he's done is broken administrative law. We're one of the very few nations that doesn't have a release period. Most countries have a period. If you can't deport someone within that period, you have to release them. You have to let them into the community. Canada doesn't. We're a rogue nation. Without an identity, there can be no travel papers, and without those, he's not going anywhere. This is expensive and has caused a lot of heartache, much of it for a South Africa still searching for its long-lost hero. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, Toronto.